Hey guys and welcome to this little quick unboxing video. Now I know a couple of you are going to say, why are you doing an uh, unboxing video? No one cares about those, those are always dumb. I'm doing it because I re recently received Gokai L. Unfortunately until Gokai is adapted into Power Rangers, it's not going to be reviewed for nearly two years. So I'm giving you this quick little video in order for you to see what it looks like and some little bit of a review on it. Okay, so here we are, Gokaio. As you can see, it comes inside this really nice and detailed box having all the information of the vehicle types, height, weight, width. It also shows, of course, prominently, Gokai Galleon, racer, trailer, marine. And of course, it shows the different kind of formations between uh, the main cannon and the accessory opening from the back. The cool thing I like about the box is that Bandai has still kept with the thicker cardboard. I really like that because if you notice that on the Maji Ranger series, for example, they were using this thinner cardboard so that if you stack many different boxes for different toys when you collect them, they would get crushed because they were not strong enough. So with thicker box they used used for recent years, I'm glad they went back to it for that reason. It comes with your standard, you know, warning labels and stuff. For example, the warning labels so you don't pinch yourself during the during the turning of the dial in the back. Japan always tends to overdo the sealing things, especially the instruction booklet. We never get anything. We just usually get some really simple thing that we that fold and stuff. The vehicles themselves are wrapped up in their plastic bags. It's basically in Gokaio formation. Ball is being packaged and all. And of course the helmet comes off. Swords, front cannon piece, and whatnot for the trailer. They switched over to the egg cart type because basically uh, styrofoam is not good for the environment, so Japan switched over to the egg cart, which I think is really a good alternative compared to what we do now, is we use this cheap plastic where everything gets flattened really quickly and it's not really durable and it bends easily. Well, egg carton is good. I really wish the American toys would use egg cartons as well so they could withstand a little bit more weight. Here we are, as you can see, all parts that, you can, that can be um, for forming Gokaio. Pretty much standard material plastic, the good plastic kind. I also noticed that there's really, there's really no chrome on the um, Gokaio at all, which is, you know, kind of a surprise. But this is how, this is how a good quality a toy without using chrome on it looks, looks well. Unlike where BOA usually screws it up and replaces it with crappy paint and other things. That's the reason why I don't like it. I don't mind when a toy doesn't have chrome. For example, this. This is a perfect toy. It's painted well, and it doesn't look cheesy. As you, as you can see, basically, the instruction booklet is pretty, actually, nicely detailed. It has all this extra stuff, all this extra edging and stuff to make it a little bit more fancy. Hopefully, maybe... There's some chance that um, these guys won't get screwed up when they get adapted into PR, but uh, I don't count them on my hopes. I mean, there's not much to there's not much to change from these guys. Unfortunately, the head doesn't rotate like the show does, but you can just attach and disconnect the helmet, of course. I also like to point out that um, the Gokaio box is has a similar design to the Bokentra box, where it has a similar edging and stuff around it. Which I thought I was like, oh, I guess it's a throwback. And of course, they never ever changed the font in recent years for the main font where it says Go Kai O. Every Super Sentai Mecha always has the exact same font design. Again, I hope you enjoyed this little quick uh, unboxing slash mini video review for Go Kai O. Unfortunately, we won't be, we won't be able to uh, review him until... Uh, when PR adapts him into the, into PR, whatever they're going to call it, pirate, whatever. Thanks again for watching.